Thunder Bay City Council has opted to push off a decision on the indoor turf facility financing plan in hopes of lowering the price tag. That happened at last night's meeting where city staff were tasked with bringing back a plan with $30 million or less in construction costs. Vasilios Bellows is following the story and joins us live in studio with the details. Vasilios. Thanks, Ryan. That $30 million figure won't include costs like site investigation or engineering design. While the referral will ultimately delay when shovels could get in the ground, council members argued it's a price tag the public would be more comfortable with. A sense of urgency from City Council to take a meaningful step towards an indoor turf facility. Psychologically, we've scaled back significantly throughout the years. We've had 27 votes around the table now regarding indoor turf. Every year, the price goes up. Council was presented with administration's financing plan for a proposed indoor turf facility next to the community auditorium, coming with an estimated $44 million price tag. That doesn't include $10.8 million in interest payments on a 25-year debenture loan to finance the project. That was ultimately voted down, with the discussion turning to a referral with the goal of capping construction costs at $30 million. So, if you want to kill the project, um, let's proceed. The referral and $30 million price cap was brought forward by Councillor Mark Bentz, who felt there was no community appetite for a $44 million facility and that it would put a halt to the project. You know, you're going to commit $44 million and move down the same path and it's going to go out to tender, might come in at $46 million, and then what are you going to do? Say no? We've already seen that. We, it happened last term. After some confusion and two votes, Bence's motion eventually received council support. With that approval... City staff will now bring back a report with options for the turf facility with construction costs below $30 million. I know some of them don't even want to participate with the city anymore because, in their words, they are a joke. The location next to the community auditorium was proposed by Soccer Northwest, with President Michael Veneziali believing user groups are growing frustrated with the lengthy process. Veneziali says his group didn't agree with the $44 million estimate from administration, and remains confident their hangar-type proposal is the most cost-effective. He goes on to say user groups want more transparency moving forward. To what the turf will cost, what the seats will cost, um, what the, the structure itself will cost, what the services brought in will, uh, will cost. There needs to be accountability here because it hasn't happened in this entire process going back for years. The meeting also revealed that further geotechnical and environmental assessments are needed before the city can launch a procurement process.